Kimono is the traditional costume worn in Japan. Its fabrics are both beautiful and unique. The patterns and designs tell stories of the culture and history of Japan. For today's story, Anima caught up with a Kiwi Japanese family where they gathered a collection of both new and vintage kimono fabrics, selected both for their aesthetic and for their stories, for the purpose of continuing the Japanese history and tradition of recycling kimono fabrics. The kimono, a traditional Japanese garment, is made from one single bolt containing 12 and a half yards of silk fabric. These high quality fabrics are made with colourful designs and intrinsically stitched patterns. In 2010, Americans discarded 21 million tons of textiles. Rather than toss out and use kimono fabric or throw away kimono that's never been worn, one can reuse the fabric to give it new life and purpose. A family business here in Auckland impacts kimono fabrics for recycling. One of Rochelle's passions is working with her stash of kimono fabrics. She and her husband Akira started up a family business where they recycle kimono fabrics for recrafting or for buyers to purchase and collect the unique and precious kimono fabrics. Rochelle's mother-in-law, who is now a retired kimono seamstress, visits Japanese antique stores and sends her novelties to Rochelle and Akira in New Zealand. And Rochelle's and picks each hand-stitched kimono. What happens is, um, like for example, the kimono that's behind us, um, that's all from my um, husband's grandparents' house. It, when they both passed away, the house is going to be demolished. And all, we, went, we went there, we found all the kimono in the house. And um, um, we found, you know, the, all the kimono was in the house. And so we brought the kimono back with us. And what we're finding, well, what's happening in Japan is that the tradition of wearing kimono is kind of dying out and, and is fading. And lots of people, just like my family, um, they're, they're throwing out their kimono or, or taking them to opportunity shops or curiosity shops and so forth. So what we do is we buy the, the second-hand kimono and, um, and yeah, up, upcycle it, basically. Historically, in the Edo period in Japan, there was a recycled tradition of kimonos. When kimono got old, people tailored a child's kimono out of good parts of the kimono. When it got torn, they made diapier out of it. When it all got ragged, they used it as a floor cloth. After finishing their life as a cloth, it was used for lighting a fire and the ashes were used as laundry soap or fertilizer. Recycling was a major business in Edo period. They always needed various types of business such as fabric scrape shops and ash purchases for the recycling society. Thus, Rochelle and her husband Akira said their family business is a continuing of this Japanese tradition. What happened previously is um, in historically fabric was quite expensive and so fabric would be remade and, and to make into other kimono or into other um, cushions or uh, or coasters and so forth. So there is a real history in Japan, of a historical history, um, where the fabric has been remade and upcycled into something else. So we're, in a sense, just continuing on with that history. Rochelle said their family business, named Kisaran, reflects the idea of a precious item being passed on. All of the days, people, for um, people, the Kimono is very important. The material is very precious and the can't throw out <laughs> like today. So people just uh, um, recycle the fabric all the time. Like uh, um, if you can't wear the kimono, then um, just create bugs from old fabric or make uh, um, doors and the kids' toys from the old fabric. Now there's not many people wearing kimono, but still lots of um, old fabric in Japan. So we just want to introduce whole those culture in New Zealand as well. Recycling of kimono fabric is a great example 
of reflecting eco-friendly awareness as well as continuing the Japanese tradition. Coming from a biological background, Akira said this is a good eco-friendly culture. Kisaran kimono fabric comes from the word kisaran pasaran and what happened is um, years ago on the Silk Road they would drop off the milkweed seeds, so it's the, the little seeds that um, we call them fairies when we're children, um, that float around um, in the air and so forth and they never had they don't have milkweed in Japan so these were considered these like little monsters these you know and they were great um, little keepsakes that you would keep in these little boxes and they were passed from mother to daughter um, so something that comes from the west that is considered um, rubbish or a weed is actually in Japan was considered something to be um, quite precious and special so just like kimono that you know this generation of now throwing out the their kimono we're picking them up and um, recycling and upcycling the fabric so it's something precious because I mean there's so much history in the fabric and within the dyeing practices um, and with the way that they're constructed and so forth and every pattern tells a story and so that's what we're really excited about is the stories that have been told. Recycling of kimono fabric is a great example of reflecting eco-friendly awareness as well as continuing the Japanese tradition. Coming from a biological background, Akira said this is a good eco-friendly culture. Nowadays people are focusing on new technology and stuff, but actually our Asian background is quite um, eco-friendly and uh, to be used in the future as well. So yeah, I'm, I think um, this business is more likely focusing on introducing our culture to New Zealand. Both Rochelle and her mother-in-law share the same love for the beautiful kimono fabric. This also acts as a bonding bridge between the two women who came from two very different cultures. By doing this and having it really um, has helped our relationship and we're able to communicate together about fabric because we're both really excited about fabric. Um, it, it kind of helps us to bond and, and gel really so uh, this little business of ours is um, is the glue in our family in some respects. That is great <laughs> yeah um, because of um, language barrier my mother and my wife can't communicate very well sometimes but using those um, culture they can communicate more. The, also, um, I'm very happy to introduce my culture to my wife. And picking kimono fabrics for recrafting or for collections not only continues the Japanese tradition of recycling kimonos, it is also eco-friendly. From Michelle and Akira, one could witness the passion they have to preserve the kimono fabrics, to not waste any part of the kimono, and to give the fabric a new life. Anima, 9 News.